Hi, I'm Tom. Let's talk climate, because seriously, 2019 has been one hot year. Yeah. Oh, sweet, sweet baby 2019, Tom. What I wish I could tell you is about to come. 2020, whoo! Besides all this, which led to all this, the climate in 2020 was also pretty bonkers. So let's talk about it. Give me a haircut. There were a record 30 named tropical storms and hurricanes that formed in the Atlantic in 2020, with 12 making landfall in the United States. 12! Normally only around four storms hit the US in any given year. And one reason for that, oh boy, 2020 was one hot year. The second hottest since we began keeping records in 1880. The last time global temperatures were below the 20th century average was in the 1970s. Talk about a planetary Saturday night fever. Kids, uh, that was a movie starring uh, John Travolta. John Travolta is a famous actor who starred in movies like Grease. Grease was a, a famous movie musical. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Land temperatures in 2020 were the hottest on record, and ocean temperatures came in third. Remember those hurricanes? Warm water is fuel for developing hurricanes. It's the process of evaporating water from the ocean and condensing it back into liquid to fall in torrential thunderstorms that give hurricanes their energy. And the Atlantic in 2020 was full of hurricane fuel. The end result was so many storms that we ran out of names and had to turn to the Greek alphabet. There was Arthur, Bertha, Cristobal, Dolly, Edward, Faye, Gonzalo, Hannah, Isaias, Josephine, Kyle, Laura, Marco, Nana, Omar, Paulette, Renee, Sally, Teddy, Vicky, Wilfred, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, and Iota. Whew. It was an unfathomable year in the Atlantic. And that year took place against the backdrop of a warming planet thanks to human-caused climate change. It's about time we stop emitting greenhouse gases and start turning down Mother Nature's thermostat. What can you and your friends do together to make a difference and combat climate change? You can start by reducing your food waste and making your diet less animal-based and more plant-based. Plant a garden or a tree. Say no thanks to single-use plastics. Ride your bike or walk instead of taking a car. You can also work with your teachers and classmates to help develop a zero waste initiative or a climate action plan for your school. While you may have heard some, okay, maybe all of these things before, scientists have studied their impact on climate change and they really can make a difference, especially if we all start doing them together at home, in our schools, and in our neighborhoods. Until next time, stay cool and stay safe. And don't forget to check out the Ocean Today website to learn more about our ocean.